Hi everyone, you're not so technical gamer here with the follow-up video on the Red Dragon Storm Hunter Hall Effect keyboard. I know it has been eight months since my very first upload, and there are some questions I think were left hanging. I want to make it up to you guys for a more comprehensive long-term user review. Uh, I basically know how the keyboard performs now, and I found out one issue that may be a deal breaker for you. Yeah, so here we go. So first question that I've seen in the previous video is where do we get the software for the keyboard? Yeah, well, let's visit the official Red Dragon website and search for Storm. Yeah, and after searching for Storm, you'll be seeing Red Dragon Storm Hunter K721 WRB dash RGB RT magnetic switch keyboard. Oh, I just noticed it sold out, uh, but hopefully it's available in your region still. And yeah, from here, you click on the download tab. It's going to ask you again uh, for what type of keyboard you're looking for. Just type Storm again, and you'll see this right here. And what it says, Storm Hunter A721 WRGB dash am rt uh so this is the keyboard that i've used now it, this is very interesting because it has a dash m the model number and yeah i've seen the model number just recently when i visited this uh, when i visited the website of the supplier or retailer where i got this from now, once you install the software, you'll be getting this user interface. And in my case, it did show two keyboards, but the bottom one is grayed out. So click on the one it says USB. From here, you'll get the customization options on the left of the screen. There are a lot of features here that I'm not really interested in outside of these two, which is under actuation settings, the rapid trigger and the polling rate. So you can see here that my action keys for WASD, they are set to 0.2 millimeter. So I can activate movements as quickly as you press on the keys. Uh, there's an option to separate the press release sensitivity, but I find it to be a little weird when you do that. Uh, if you're going to decouple the press and release actuation so i did not bother you know activating that feature now going below 0.2 millimeter like setting it to 0.1 millimeter uh, makes the keyboard a little too sensitive where hovering your fingers on the keys may accidentally activate a key press and that's something that you don't want to do, especially in a firefight in Battlefield 2042 or even Battlefield 6 or any any FPS out there. So I skipped that one. Yeah, this 0.2 millimeter for me is this sweet spot for the rapid trigger. The next feature is the polling rate. I don't think we have any way to verify this accurately by a uh, I downloaded Keyboard Inspector, and this is what the graphs look like. Now, I'm not sure what it means or what, what the graphs mean, basically, but what I can see, it's, I can feel, personally, it's a good keyboard. Better than the rest of my mechanical keyboards that I've, you know, I've used over the years. Yeah, and... Considering the price, a Wu Tang keyboard is going to cost four to five times, and it's going to to matter for a lot of people. Uh, and if you're after a Hall Effect keyboard, I think this is one of the the best way to go. There's a caveat to that. Uh, I'll show you in, in the later part of the video as well. Okay, so I got this from Data Blitz, uh, which is a popular retailer here in the Philippines. And, uh, and as I was checking their website, I've seen two, I have now seen two variants of basically the same keyboard, Storm Hunter. And what's interesting is here, 
it uh it correctly matches the one in the official red dragon website the one with the dash or hyphen m and it's a couple of i think it's ten dollars cheaper so this is in philippine pesos just very very interesting i'm not sure there are any major differences between the two because if you look at the description it's basically the same basically the same yeah so if i do get the opportunity i might want to buy this to, to compare why this one is cheaper uh but yeah for now this works for me this is the one that i bought the one with the the one with no dash amps uh in the model number. yeah and now uh for the deal breaker uh, a couple of months ago, with the eventual eventual release of Battlefield 6 came the BF6 beta. At that time, I played consoles because I thought playing on it would be the way to go, considering how much more affordable hardware is. You know, I just recently upgraded to a 5070 Ti, and it cost more than a PS5 Pro. Uh, so yeah. Came the actual day of the beta release, I plugged this bad boy on my PS5 Pro, and unfortunately, it's not getting detected correctly by the console, and it didn't work at all, uh, it's, which is kind of sad. You know, I there could be some configuration from the manufacturer that prohibits this keyboard getting detected on the PS5, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, yeah, so if you're planning to get this keyboard for console gaming, uh, console play, that's a no-go. Don't buy this for console gaming. Yeah. Okay. So, there you have it. The Red Dragon Storm Hunter, an affordable Hall Effect keyboard that I think will put a smile on your face when you're clicking away heads this coming holiday season. It's very fun to use so long as you're not going to use it on a PS5 Pro. And I'll be including a short gameplay video of me playing Battlefield 2042 uh, on my new 5070 Ti. And this one I just got from yesterday. Uh, and yeah. There you have it. Uh, I'll also be posting a video about the GPU in the coming days. Thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe. Have fun and enjoy. And yeah, bye. We must push the enemy back to our objective. meters away blocking the enemy tank multiple hostiles hostile infantry long range Away from that objective. Command is watching. Two hundred meters. Enemies. 